Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoom with Israeli News Live and wanted to give you a little update on the issues that we're hearing about in Ukraine. And of course, one of those issues uh, is dealing with Russia using a nuclear weapon over in uh, Ukraine. And this has not happened. Uh, some of the, let's see here, I thought, yeah, we do have here, this was a message that uh, uh, Russell put up himself. I wanted to play this clip for you here, talking about Mariupol. It's Tejas and Donbass, 17th of April, 2022. Operation Z in full effect here in Mariupol. This city is more liberated than it is damaged, that it's heavily damaged. There's a lesson to be learned by, by all people in the world from Mariupol, and it's this. Those who allow their masters, their leaders, their rulers to become fascists, to start wars, have to understand that those wars are coming to their homes too. People here in Mariupol didn't think that their city was gonna be like that. They thought that their government, their army, was gonna make our city, Donetsk, like that. But that just goes to show you never can tell about war. Donetsk is still standing, looking good. And Mariupol looks like this. You start. Um, Russell goes in, he'll go in to uh, talk about how the, the United States started this war and, uh, and that they're the ones that continue to fund what's going on. But he also talks about wanting to see peace brought to the region uh, and that the, the fighting would stop before it ends up spreading further into Europe and then possibly also the United States. Uh, also, I want to show to you here, this was on uh, war in Ukraine. British Special Forces are training local troops in Ukraine, serving UK soldiers on the ground for the first time. We have British Special Forces have trained local troops in Kiev for the first time since the war with Russia began. Ukrainian commanders have told the Times. Officers from the two battalions stationed in and around the capital said that they had undergone military training one last week and the other the week before. Uh, so <clears throat> letting you know the British, British are also there on the grounds in Ukraine. And this one really caught my attention here uh, that was published, Ukrainian Jews in Dnepro celebrating Passover in uniform. Uh, well, you kind of can't help but wonder you know, Ukrainian Jews are, do we have Israelis? Because we also know that there have been a lot of Israelis that have been sent to fight in this war in Ukraine. And uh, as my wife had pointed out before, that they're, uh, that they're planning on trying to make Ukraine the second Israel. This was something that Menachem Schneerson had brought out years ago, uh, that this would be the uh, Israel too. So I thought that'd be interesting to note for you as well. Uh, we also see, of course, this is just one of many things there. Russia is sending in more types of armaments uh, into the battlefront there in Ukraine. And uh, uh, also Lavrov, he's coming out on an interview with, uh, one, actually it was with, uh, oh gosh, what was it? It was a Russian television interview there. But he's being a little bit more blunt about, the EU becoming more like an enemy. Uh, and, you know, you can only figure after all the years of sanctions and uh, trying to have uh, diplomatic talks and stuff like that, and it's just going nowhere. As I always say, though, you know, both sides, there's not one side greater than the other in this conflict. Uh, you know, of course, I'm against uh, uh, fascist Nazis uh, running the country and what's happening in Ukraine like that. Uh, and uh, but I'm also against communism as well. I don't support communism, don't support fascism, either one. But we are certainly seeing a horrible crisis that is unfolding in that part of the world. And to me, it's all for a setup of a new world order. Uh, and I guess in that case, it doesn't matter who wins or loses. The ultimate goal is for their new world order. Uh, one thing to be worth watching, though, is the Donbass War Summer 2014, Retracing the Steps, the RT documentary. Uh, I'll try to remember to share this link in the description below because they're blocking RT pretty much everywhere. Also, Oliver Stone did a, a very interesting documentary on the conflict in Ukraine, which also is an eye-opener, especially from an American director's point of view. 
And in closing here, I know this surfaced a little while back. Everybody thought this was uh, Lieutenant General uh, Claudier. Uh, I, I didn't believe so because if they were masking his face, I knew good and well it couldn't be him. And uh, uh, there has been some stories popping up saying that he was not uh, the Lieutenant General that was taking, taken. And of course, as we brought out and confirmed that there was a officer uh, taken by the Russians in Maripol. Uh, and as I said, I could not confirm that it was uh, General Claudier, but uh, but we did get, and it was kind of a little mix up in the communication, one of my last communiques there with DC there, but it was actually uh, what was said was a Lieutenant Colonel was taken captive. Uh, so, you know, we never have been able to confirm uh, that other than that initially was stated to us. Uh, we assumed that it might be the, the, the general here, and maybe it was just a mix-up in the verbiage, and it meant to say lieutenant general. But uh, my last uh, trans, uh, transmission was lieutenant, a lieutenant colonel was taken. Uh, so we still don't know the answer to that. Might be able to get the answers to that later this week to find out what really went on. I know that even if they'd caught a lieutenant colonel, the U.S. would want to keep that as hush-hush as possible uh, until they could get his safe return home. Uh, at any rate, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. And I uh, post a little video over on Patreon. You might be blessed in watching it. Uh, so, uh, And we also released, uh, actually we released a video. Let me just kind of show you that there on uh, YouTube, on my private channel on YouTube. Let me just pull that out for you real quick. Um, our private channel over there on YouTube under Stephen Benoon. Uh, I just put up uh, or released one of the videos that we had there on uh, um, on Patreon uh, that actually was published back on December the 8th. I think you'll be blessed by this. But the reason why I published this one here was because of another video. Uh, and well, I don't have the link in there for you, but I do. It is the link is over on Patreon there where another gentleman only confirms uh, the information that we had shared here and uh, and some very interesting insights on the giant creature that was uh, found at the bottom of the sea and of course we go into the fact that the movie underwater that was released in 2020 was actually based on a true story uh, and so i think you might find that interesting if you if you care to do so anyway that's patreon.com uh, forward slash israeli news live thank you for listening i'm stephen benoon you're watching israeli news live